Yes, good afternoon. In that press conference, St. Landry Powell, Sheriff Deputy, uh, the sheriff basically said that when he found out that the son was involved, a deputy of his own, he said that that deputy actually broke down and cried when he found out that his son may have been involved in this arson. And he also says that his deputy actually helped in getting his son to uh, get uh, to go to deputies and taking him into custody. Now, this is a picture of that suspect. His name is 21 year old Holden Matthews. He faces three counts of simple arson of a religious building. State Fire Marshal Butch Browning says federal investigators are looking into whether hate motivated those fires. Now, investigators are still looking at several possible motives, but right now, with the investigation that they have and with what Matthews has told them, they suggest a possible connection with black metal music, which has been associated with a history of church burnings in different parts of the world and have been documented in movies and in books. Now, the fire at three historically black churches began March 26, all in St. Landry Parish and happened within 10 days. Investigators and the pastors of the three historically black churches that were burned were all there at the press conference today, thanking everyone in the community, not only for the cooperation, but for their support. Now, the state fire marshal also spoke about how important those pastors were with this investigation. Listen to this. Immediately after these fires, the pastors were brought in and they were part of our investigative team. The first thing they did was pray for us, and that's what set us on the right track. The second thing they did was they became the agents of information. They were a calming voice in the community. And finally, they were reasons why we were able to cultivate the scientific leads that we did. And that's what we're here today to say to, not just to our community, but to our country. Be strong. Love one another. That's right. Be patient with one another. Help one another. Guide one another. Train up your children in the way they should go. Now, over 100 people were involved in this investigation. That includes local, state, and federal agencies. Of course, this is still a developing story, so we'll have more for you coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 5 and at 6 o'clock. But for now, reporting live in St. Landry Parish, I'm Carice Jackman, Eyewitness News. Carice, thank you very much.